Hi, I'm here again for your daily tonic, and today I'll be sharing with you from the book of Luke, chapter 15. There's a popular story there, we call it the story of the prodigal son. However, if you read in between the lines, you realize that the hero in that particular story was not the son, it was the father. It was the father who loved the son. When the son left and he came back, it was the father who ran towards the son, hugged the son, kissed the son, put a ring on the finger of the son, and threw a party. Some translations actually tie to that particular story, the compassionate father. Why is this important? Because the emphasis of the gospel is not on you and what you have done. It is on him and what he has done for us. It is Jesus doing for you and for me what we could never do for ourselves. And what did he do? He laid down his life. He died for all of your sins and he was buried and then God was going to raise him from the dead, which God did. And that is the emphasis of the gospel. It's not about you. It's about him and what he has done for us. So if you look at the story from the perspective of the father being the hero, loving the son unconditionally, even when the son left, the father's love did not change. I want to read to you about a couple of verses from Luke chapter 15. I'm just going to read verse 22 and I'll stop at verse 24. The Bible says, But his father said to the servant, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet. And kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast. For this son of mine was dead and has now returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. You could see that the father's love for the son never changed. The father never stopped loving the son. In the mind of the son, the son was already thinking he has lost his place. He was hoping to be a servant. So if you look in between the lines, it's still showing us that the hero is still the father. He is the one that can love you unconditionally. You know, when you say things like, you don't know what I've done, I will say to you, you don't know what Jesus has done for you. Because what you've done compared to what Jesus did for you is just very minute. So what I'm trying to make you understand in this short video is you can always look up to the father's love for you. He loves you unconditionally. It's about his compassionate love for you and he proved his love to you by laying down his life for you he sent his only begotten son to die for your sins and jesus was buried and god raised him from the dead why did he do all of these things because he loves you so anytime you read the story in luke chapter 15 stop looking at the son look to the father and what he has done for you which you could never do for ourselves god bless you